Let's take a look at a problem we looked at in class in case you want to review it or if you missed class. So here we are on the uh, beautiful downtown Hilton and we decide we want to take a dip in the pool and so we want to figure out if we can make it before we take that leap. So we're going to need to know some things. So we need to know how fast we can run and so after some trials we determine we can run seven meters per second very reliably. Uh, maybe you want to run faster, but uh, you might be uncertain as to what your average speed is. So 7 meters per second is our um, consistent running speed. We also need to know how high the building is, 48 meters, and how far away the pool is from the bottom of the building. If the pool's 10 meters wide, it looks like about one pool length from the edge of the building. So the edge of the pool is 10 meters from the edge of the building. And so to do this, we need to figure out how much time we're in the air and then also how much, how far we go in that time. So the t uh, we pick a coordinate system. I'm going to say positive x to the right, positive y down in the origin where we start. You might try working this problem picking a different coordinate system. This would be another common one with positive y up and uh, zero the ground. So you might try doing that. And so we look at the y motion to figure out when we're going to land because gravity acts in the y direction only, and uh, that is what's going to make us hit the ground. And so write out this equation. This is from the last unit. It's not new. It just tells me my position is a function of time. And then you have to figure out what all those things are. And so using your coordinate system, the one I have here, um, you can see that the final y position is 48 meters in the positive y direction. The initial is zero. We start at the origin. Our initial y velocity is zero, not seven meters per second. That is horizontal. That is in the x. So he's just going to run straight off in, in that first instant, uh, no initial y velocity. And then the acceleration would be positive 9.8. So again, if you try this coordinate system down here, you might use different inputs into this equation, but you'll get the same answer. And solving the equation for time, because these two terms are zero, we get square root of 2y over a, and so it's going to take 3.1 seconds to hit the ground. And so now we look at the x motion to see how far we go. Are we going to make it to the pool? And it's the same equation, but this term here I'm usually not going to write because the acceleration in the x direction is zero for projectile motion. And so the initial x is 0, the initial x velocity 7, and the time 3.1 seconds, and again the acceleration is 0. And so we go 21.7, so we easily make it. <coughs> or do we? Oh, we went too far. But we're okay because we worked this out ahead of time. We haven't jumped yet. And so maybe what should we do? How about how fast should you run to land in the center of the pool? And so pause the video, see if you can work that out. Here comes the answer, 4.8. So if you can get that, you've got these problems down. See if you can work this. What if I told you it was 21.7? Could you tell me the height of the building or how fast he's running? Make sure you know how to do this problem all year long.